Welcome to AG Chelsea TV. In today's video we'll start with Fabrizio Romano drops the crushing truth about Chelsea's Michael Olai's dreams. Chelsea are being constantly linked with Crystal Palace winger Michael Olai's right now, and that's getting fans very excited. He's talented, productive, entertaining to watch and tested in the Premier League. If you can get him, and we certainly tried our best last summer, he looks the sort of player who can improve any team in the world as he reached his peak. The problem for Blues fans fantasizing about him coming to Stamford Bridge is that the queue in attacking positions is pretty long already, and mostly made up of players signed in the last couple of years, making them harder to sell without taking a loss on the high prices we paid for them. The fantasy most supporters go for is somehow shifting Raheem Sterling and his huge wages to Saudi Arabia or Turkey, that would make space in the budget and in the squad for a new winger, but unfortunately for those fans, Fabrizio Romano is making it pretty clear that that's unlikely. Someone who is not planning to make a move at least as of now is Raheem Sterling, Fabrizio Romano said in his daily briefing for court offside. He isn't leaving Chelsea and joining Jose Mourinho at Fenerbahce. Even if the Turkish club are willing to make very good investments for the Portuguese manager, I repeat, there is absolutely nothing between Raheem Sterling and Fenerbahce. Zero. No contracts ongoing. No negotiations ongoing, no talks, we will follow the situation, but everything is really quiet around Sterling at the moment. Blues fans can keep their fingers crossed all summer, it looks like the Olai's dream will have to wait a while longer. Let's just hope nobody else manages to make the deal happen this summer while we're still figuring it out. Newcastle submit offer for Chelsea target, Newcastle have entered talks over a deal to sign Burnley goalkeeper James Trafford. TalkSport reported Newcastle's interest in the 21-year-old, with the Clarets open to a sale following their Premier League relegation. Chelsea are also keen on a move for Trafford this summer, as they prepare for next season under new head coach Enzo Maresca. It appears Newcastle have made the first move by entering direct negotiations for the player, TalkSport understands the Magpies are looking to pay £12 million plus add-ons, while Burnley value the goalkeeper closer to £20 million. This would be just £1 million more than the deal they completed to sign Trafford for Manchester City last summer. Burnley paid an initial £15 million for the goalkeeper, but the total deal could rise to £19 million with add-ons. Newcastle boss Eddie Howe is thought to be a big admirer, with the club eyeing him as competition for Nick Pope, Trafford made 28 appearances in the Premier League for Burnley although he didn't feature in their last 10 matches of the season. He was also named in England's 33-man preliminary squad for Euro 2024 and was one of seven players to be omitted from the final list. Pope missed much of the season due to a dislocated shoulder but was able to return to action on the final day of the season. Newcastle failed to qualify for Europe for next season but will hope their summer transfer business, potentially starting with Trafford, will guide them back to continental football. However, they were recently beaten by Chelsea to the signing of free agent Dossin Adarabio, who will join the Blues after his Fulham contract expires on June 30th. TalkSport understands Chelsea's offer of European football was a key reason why Dossin chose them over the Magpies. Milan director talking to Chelsea over Broha transfer, AC Milan director Geoffrey Moncada has flown to London to hold talks with Chelsea over a deal for Armando Broha. That's according to Gazzetta dello Sport, who say the Italian side are moving to sign the forward as a replacement for Olivier Giroud. The newspaper explains that with Giroud heading to MLS, Milan know they need a forward and are already working to secure one. They are targeting Joshua Xerxy, but that deal is proving difficult to get done, particularly when it comes to personal terms, so the club are looking at other options too. Broha is one of them and Moncada has flown to London to check the possibilities of a negotiation with Chelsea. The forward would not be an alternative to Xerxy, but could arrive alongside him, but if a deal for Xerxy can't happen, they would at least have him. The Rossoneri management are in contact with Chelsea trying to work out if a deal can be done, although any investment will have to be limited as finances at Milan are tight and well controlled, there is a confidence that the club can get the best out of him and get him scoring again with him yet to get back to his best following his cruciate ligament injury in December 2022. It will require a deal being done with Chelsea, but Moncada is working on that front, talking to the Blues to try and work out an outline of a deal that suits everyone. 
Real Madrid battle Chelsea in race for Brazilian defender, Real Madrid have enjoyed unprecedented success when it comes to unearthing Brazilian talents in recent years. The club have hit a bullseye with the signings of Vinicius Jr., Eda Melitoro and Rodrigo, with all three now becoming indispensable figures in the first team, Real Madrid's operation in Brazil, therefore, is unlikely to ebb away anytime soon and to that end, the club have recently been linked with another talent in the form of Pedro Lima. A right-back by trade, Lima has made waves in Brazilian football with his performances for Sport Recife. At just 17, the youngster has featured in 25 competitive appearances, impressing onlookers with his attacking qualities and ability to make marauding runs down the flanks. Lima's performances have not gone unnoticed, with Real Madrid among the clubs interested in his services. However, as per Diario AS, Chelsea have emerged as the front-runner in the race to sign the young fullback. The Blues have embraced the Juni Calafat formula in recent months, putting emphasis on signing Brazilian talents ready to take the next step in their careers. Pedro Lima, to that end, falls perfectly into their operation. However, even though Chelsea are leading the race to sign Pedro Lima, the deal is far from a done deal. Real Madrid are still monitoring the situation closely. Although the newly crowned European champs have yet to make a move, the club have not entirely ruled out the operation. Sport Recife, for their part, have set a price tag of around 6 to 7 million euros, which makes Lima quite an affordable option for Los Blancos. One thing is for sure, Lima's future is far from Sport Recife, and a move to Europe could soon be on the horizon. And that's the final content of today's video, like subscribe to support AG Chelsea TV.